Hey guys, this is H. Molamte. During this period of the coronavirus pandemic, a lot of religious bodies have taken their services online. While some are interesting to watch because they invest in the right gears and equipment, others are also boring because they probably might be on budget to get gears for their online services and so on. Today's video is to show you how to change something like this. Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. Today we are going to have our YouTube streaming services. So kindly bear with me. We are going to go ahead to do this in some few minutes. To something like this. Hey guys, so this is Ishmael Lamte. This is camera one. I'm going to go ahead to switch to camera two. Hey guys, this is Ishmael Lamte. This is camera two. So as you saw earlier, we moved away from a very shaky video with a very boring background to two different cameras positioned at different angles. So I have one positioned here and then the other position here. And these are mobile phones which are actually serving as cameras. So I'm going to show you how to go about this process. Without talking further, let's get right into it. To be able to go about the process, there are a few things that you need. First of all, you need your mobile devices which are going to serve as your cameras. So you can actually um, have about two or more mobile devices which are going to use. You also need a mobile phone mount or holder which is going to make it easier for you to position or place your phone inside. And then also you need either a tripod or a monopod or a normal stand or even a table anything of um, you could actually place your phone on top so that it doesn't you know um, come very low it doesn't go very high you could have it to a certain desired level so you need a tripod or a monopod to be able to do that as well as you also need a pc so i have my pc right here which is going to serve as the, the main brain behind everything so the configuration and everything is going to be done here you also need softwares or apps which is going to make it easier for you to go about the process so for my setup i'm using obs which is open broadcast software which is free as well as i'm using ip webcam on my phone which is also free so i'm going to show you how to get these apps as well as how to configure them to be able to go about this process so let's go ahead to download and install obs so obs is basically an open source application which can be installed for windows um, Linux as well as Mac. So you depending on the operating system which you are running, you just go ahead to the obsprojects.com to download the software and then you go ahead to install it on your system. In my case, I already have it installed so I'm not going to go ahead to um, download it again. So let me just go ahead to launch it and um, so let me just go ahead and then launch this application. And once I launch it, there are a couple of things I need to do but before then, let me just go ahead and then download ip webcam on my phone so i'm going to go to play store and then search for ip webcam so i already have it installed what i'm going to do next is to open the application then perform some basic configuration in here so once you open the application there are lots of um, options or properties that you need to configure but what what is more important has to do with the video um, output as well as the audio um, configurations here so i'm going to tap on video preferences and then i'm going to come to resolution to make sure this is recording at 1080p so that is what i have over here so i leave that and then i'm going to come back from here and then head to the audio section and make sure your audio is disabled the reason is because i already have audio input devices that i'm using for my streaming i have this which is connected to the laptop as well as i'm recording to a different device so there's no point also recording audio from this particular phone so i'm going to disable that and then what i'm going to do next is come to the very bottom which has start server so you tap on start server an ip address is going to be generated for you so you see the ip address at the very bottom the point is you need to connect to this ip address to be able to connect to this phone and before you can do that there's one important aspect of the whole process which is you need to be connected to the same network so my phone is connected to the same network as my pc so i'm going to go ahead to my browser and then i'm going to type the ip address i have on my screen so 192.168.8.147 and then colon 8080 so once you open that particular ip address it's going to open the interface of ip webcam for you to be able to control your phone remotely so here there are a couple of things you can actually change you can configure but i'm not going to dive into that what i want to do here is to be able to see a preview of my phone displaying the camera so as you can see that and what i'm going to do next is to change this from browser mode to full screen mode the reason why i'm changing this to full screen mode is to be able to have an entire window which is just showing the camera and nothing else and once i do that what i'm going to do next is because under normal circumstance i was going to use two phones to be able to do this 
I need to split the screen into two. So I need to move this here and then move it to, let's say the left hand side and probably select this, which is going to be on my right hand side. That would have been the other screen, but I don't have my other phone right here with me. So I'm going to just uh, stick to this phone and then continue the process. So once I do that, then I come back to OBS and here I need to perform a couple of configurations. Let me just go ahead and remove what I have in here. So in OBS, you have scenes, you have sources. So the scenes are different scenes or which particular devices you want to show at that level. And then the sources are the devices itself. So in this case, I'm going to create a new scene, which I'm going to call it maybe mobile and then click on OK. And then the next part is to come to sources and then click on the plus icon. So once I click on the plus icon, I need to select the source or the capturing device. In this case, I'm going to select capture window. The reason why I'm selecting capture window is I want to capture the window which is showing the camera. So that is the um, window over there. Let me just go ahead and then select that particular window, which is going to be, I think um, um, this is it, right? So as you can see, I have that selected and let me just put this in the format. So it makes it easier for me to be able to go about the process. So let me just, uh, have this here so i'm going to go ahead to um, select this so i'm going to click on ok and what i have to do next is to be able to trim the video to the respective size that i'm looking out for so i'm going to go ahead to hold on the alt key on my keyboard i'm using a windows uh, pc so i'm going to go ahead to trim this to the top and then trim the top also to the bottom to make sure i'm just getting the capturing of uh, or the camera from my phone and then once I'm done with that, I'm going to stretch this to fit the size over there. That's the window by. So let me move this to the top and then come to the corner, expand this to meet exactly the size over there. So as you can see, that is what is happening there. So I'm having my phone, which can be controlled remotely through the browser, showing it OBS. And then once you have this configured, the next thing is to just go ahead and start streaming. But before you can start streaming, you need to configure your um, streaming path. So once you come to file and then let me just go to settings, you need to select your stream. At this point, you have to select your stream service. So there's Twitch, YouTube and the rest. And if you are going to use YouTube, you need to get your public key and so on. I'm not going to go through that process in this particular video, but there are lots of videos which can show you how to go about that. And once you input your, that's your stream key in here, you're good to go. You hit on OK and then you start streaming. Then you can go ahead to show your phone's camera as well as one important or cool aspect of this whole process is that you can add multiple scenes. So in case I had a different phone as of now with me, I could have just added another screen. Um, that is another scene over here, going through the same process, making sure IP webcam is installed on my phone, connecting to that particular phone and then capturing the window of that particular camera. Then I'm good to go. So you realize, this is a very simple process. You didn't have to pay for any part of this process. It's, it's easier to go about setting this up. You can have this set up in some few minutes and then you can get your streaming services, you know, up and running. So that is basically just about it for this video. In case you are new, kindly smash the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell as well so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. I'd like to hear your feedback about this whole process. And if you've got any questions, just go ahead and then drop them in the comment section below and I'll be glad to answer them. So that's just about it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.